those of you that really want to know, this is a Dell U4 Zero two, one Q W. Come and see my big monitor. and has a PPI of 140, uh, which is the pixel uh, density. Um, the curve on this monitor is very, very mild. It's called a 2500R. I'm going to put a picture up now and you'll see the curve. It's really not that bad, but it works really well on uh, iMovie, Excel, PowerPoint. It just, it just brings in the side so you don't have to strain trying to find those bits that you want at the edge of the screen. It's a beautiful monitor. Um, I've been running it probably for about six weeks now um, from my Mac Mini. Basically, is a USB-C monitor. So it goes one cable from the Mac Mini straight into the back of the monitor and you're getting the full resolution on this monitor at 60 frames, um, 60 hertz. Um, this isn't a 120 hertz monitor, which is a shame. But for mostly what I'm doing, it's up, it's fine. So I picked it up for 1,620. Um, it will probably come down over time, um, but it seems relatively well priced um, for this size and uniqueness of this monitor. You can buy a 34 inch ultra wide for much less. You you, you know my old Philips um, 34 inch, which I've had for just over eight years. Um, that was around £600 back then. So you can still buy one, a 34 inch now, for around £500, £600. But you're not going to get the quality of the display and the the, the size dimensions that this one offers. Um, so let's take you into um, some of the things that this monitor will do. Okay, just to show you what this... Um, 40 inch monitor looks like um, with split screen. I've got iMovie on one side and then my business page on the other side. Um, and you can see there is plenty of room to view the things you need to. And if I go back to iMovie, if I increase my timeline, there's plenty to be working with. These are all a good size. Um, plenty of room to do this. Look at the tiles, my media. It's fine. So it works, looks, works really, really well. Um, you can see the size, you know, size of the editing screen. It's really, really good. And then for color accuracy, um, Porsche configurator page. Um, if what I do is I'll make this bigger. And let's go to a nice yellow for you. And there we go. You can see the colours on this monitor. Really, really nice. Let's move it across slightly. So if you're an artist or a graphic designer or you, you use it for colour reproduction, I think you'll agree that the level of detail is right up there. It's the best one I've ever owned. And you can obviously change and look at the you know black. How nice is that? Again, very high quality resolution. And it doesn't fill the whole screen um, when you're just looking at menus like this. But again, you could half the screen and then add or just pull that across like that. And you've got two. So 
Yeah, I hope that gives you just a rough idea. It, it is beautiful, um, and I think it justifies the price in terms of quality. Okay, here are some of the ports which are along the bottom. We've got two here. One is a USB-C and the other one is a USB, I believe. And then the main ports are all along here. I'm plugged into the 96 watt USB-C port. And then along here you've got um, display port and HDMIs. So there's plenty of ports for everybody. Um, and if you're not using a Mac Mini uh, to charge, you can use the the um, the monitor to charge your phones or, or any other pieces of equipment so yeah great uh great monitor with great uh connections okay well we've come to the end of the video thanks very much for watching please remember i'm a new youtuber so please click on the like button and hit the subscribe button it's all free and it helps me to grow um, which will be a very long journey on youtube i'm sure but anything you can do to help is appreciated and there'll be more videos coming along on my iPad Pro and I may do a separate one on my Mac Mini which I've had now for six months. Remember your the other videos will be popping up in a minute of my car reviews so feel free to click on those and enjoy in glorious 4k Ultra HD. See you next time.